Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I am now going to be answering question number seven from this June 2020 International A Level Pure Mathematics P2 paper from Edexcel. Here we have a function f of x equals ax cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus b. And they're told we're told that a and b are constants, and we're told that x plus 2 is a factor of f of x. And also the integral between the limits of 3 and 5 of f of x with respect to x is equal to 176. We've got to find the value of a and the value of b given this information. Okay, so now, first of all, if x plus 2 is a factor of f of x, if x plus 2 is a factor of f of x, then basically... If we substitute whatever makes this bracket 0 into f of x, okay, um, whichever makes this bracket 0 into f of x, it will make f of x equal 0. So what makes x plus 2 equal 0? When x equals minus 2, okay, f of x is equal to 0. Or we could say f minus 2 equals 0. Okay, so if we substitute whatever makes this 0 into this function, it's going to make the value of the function 0. So basically what we can say here, if f minus 2 is equal to 0, we're going to have a times minus 2 cubed plus 6 times minus 2 squared minus 4 times minus 2 plus b equals 0. So that's going to give you negative 8a plus 6 times 4 is 24 because negative 2 squared is positive 4. And negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, plus b equals 0. So if we simplify this, you have negative 8a plus b plus 32 equals 0. So we can write an equation, minus 8a plus b is equal to negative 32. So we can call that equation 1. Okay, that's, that's one equation we formed from this information. Now we have another piece of information that the integral between 3 and 5 of f of x with respect to x gives us the value 176. So we know this is the original function f of x. So let's set up the integral of this. So we've got the integral between the limits of 3 and 5 of ax cubed plus bx squared minus 4 times x, sorry, ax cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 6x squared minus 4x and then plus b okay ax cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus b that's right all of that integrated with respect to x is going to give us 176 so let's just integrate this now so when you integrate this, a is a constant. So basically what's going to happen is you increase the power by 1. So it's ax to the power 4 and divide by the new power. Plus, and then this, you're going to increase the power by 1 and divide by the new power, which is power of 3. Minus 4x becomes minus 4x squared over 2. b gets, is a constant, so it, it, you attach an x to it, x term to it. And then you're going to have plus c, but because this is a definite integral, we don't worry about the plus c because they will cancel out when we do the subtraction of the two brackets. So we have the limits of 5 and 3, and that is going to equal 176. Let's set this up now. Uh, let's um, simplify these first. This is ax to the power 4 over 4 plus 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus bx. 5, 3 equals 176. Now we can start substituting the values of x in here. So we have a times 5 to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2 times 5 to the power of 3 plus 2 times 5 to the power of 2 plus b times 5. Let me just make sure. Oh, there's a, this is a minus. There's a mistake here. So you've got to be very careful. That's minus and a minus and a minus. Let's make sure. Okay, yeah, there's a minus there. I'll be very careful about that. that I almost messed up there. It would have got my answer all wrong. Minus, and then we're going to do the same thing, but substituting 3 instead of x. So if a times 3 to the power 4 over 4, plus 2 times 3 cubed, minus 2 times 3 squared, 
plus b times 3 and all of this is going to be equal to 176. So this looks like we'll be able to set up a second equation with a and b and if we do this properly. So now 5 to the power of 4 is 625. Okay, just make sure of that. 5 to the power of 4 is, yeah, so 625a over 4. Uh, 5 cubed is 125. 125 times 2 is 250. 5 squared is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. And this is 5 times b minus, I'll keep the bracket here, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So this is 81a over 4. And this is plus, that's 3 cubed is 27. 27 times 2 is 54. Minus 2 times 9, which is 18, plus 3b. And that's equal to 176. So we got here 625a over 4 minus 81a over 4. So let's work out what that is. 625, take away 81. Okay, and they're both over 4, so divided by 4. Good, that's 136. 136a. Then we've got 250 minus 50, which is 200. And minus, let me just, let me write this out. 250 minus 50, that's 200 plus 5b. I've already incorporated that, those two, so I'm going to have 58 minus, 54 minus 18. 54 take away 18 gives us 36. So that's going to be plus, sorry, let me just, again, be very careful. Put minus, okay, that's 36 plus 3b. Again, I've already, I've already added these two together and gave us that. That's that minus that. But just to keep it clear, I'm just doing this separately so I don't get confused. So that's 136a. Now I've got 200 minus 36. So I've got 200, take away 36, which is going to be 164. Yeah, so that's plus 164. 5b minus 3b is 2b equals 176 so what I can do is I can say 136 a plus 2 B is equal to 176 minus 164 176 minus uh, 100 minus 136 sorry 176 minus 136 that gives us 40 hold on is that right Plus 2b equals one equals 176 minus sorry minus 164 sorry about that it's minus 164 176 minus 164 okay that gives us 12 okay because I have to tell us that's with the a in it all right and then we can divide everything by two 136 divided by two okay 136 divided by 2 gives us 68 so that's 68 a plus b equals 6 so that's equation 2 so we have the two equations one of them was minus 8 a plus what was it plus b equals negative 32 and we have 68 a plus b is equal to 6 so what we can do here is we can add, we can subtract these two equations. So we have minus 8a minus 68a, which is minus 72a. Um, and this becomes uh, 0, if you subtract them, equals minus 32 minus 6, which is minus uh, 38. Okay, that's... No, that's minus 76, sorry. What am I doing? Making silly mistakes here. Minus 8, minus 68. Okay, so you can see minus 8, minus, minus 8. Take away 68 is negative 70. Minus 68, sorry about that. Minus 68 is negative 76. So that's negative 76a equals negative 38. So we can say that a is equal to negative 38 over negative 76 so a is equal to so you have 38 divided by 76 which gives you 
a half. So a is equal to a half. And we can use this to find what b is. We know minus 8 times a half plus b is equal to negative 32. So we can say that's going to be a minus 4 plus b is equal to negative 32. So b is equal to negative 32 plus 4. So b is equal to negative 28. So we can now um, find the value of a and b. We found the value of a and b. So there's a and there's b. A equals a half and B equals negative 28. Now, supposing we weren't sure, like we made a few mistakes on the way, um, as we saw, um, silly mistakes that we, you know, worked out that there were mistakes as we were going along. But supposing in the exam, you got the, an, an answer and you want to make sure that it's correct. In the, and you don't have a mark scheme you, you know, in the exam, like I don't have the mark scheme right now because it hasn't been released at the time I made this video. So A equals a half, B equals negative 28. I'll show you how we can check the answer. A equals a half, and B equals negative 28. That's the um, answers that we got. So what we can do is, we can see therefore, f of x is going to be a half x cubed, plus 6x squared, minus 4x, minus 28. Now what you can do in your calculator to check that the answer is correct, is you can substitute this into the uh, integral. You can use the integral function here. And you can set this up, so put a bracket, then you've got a half, so 1 over 2, and you've got x to the power of 3, so that's, use this x here, and then raise it to the power of 3, then you've got plus 6x squared, so 6x squared, and then you're going to have minus 4x, use this x button there, minus 28, close the bracket, press this button, and then you're going to have the limits between 3, and you press this button again, and 5. And now when you press equals, hopefully, if we got the right values, then the answer should come out as 176. And it does. So we can be sure that a half should be in place of the A, and negative 21 in place of the B, because when you integrate that with respect to X between 3 and 5, you see we get 176 as an answer. And that's a way you can check your answer at the end. Now, if it didn't come out as 176, you know, for example, we made a mistake some here, some place here. We, we, I think we called this 72. It would have come out as a different fraction, a different number. And therefore, our answer wouldn't come out as 176 when we put those values in. Then you can check back for mistakes that you might have made. Like we did another thing at the beginning somewhere. I think we wrote this as a plus instead of a minus here. Okay, and then we spotted it just as we were going down and changed it. But if you hadn't spotted it, then of course the answers wouldn't be the same. Your values of A and B would be, diff would be different and they would not cause this to be 176 when you put it in here. So this is a very uh, efficient way and a good way of you to check your answer, especially if you've got the time to do so in the exam, to make sure that you have um, not made any silly mistakes. And if you have, then you can go back and try to figure out where that mistake is and correct it. Okay, so there's the answer for this question from June 2022. Question number seven. Other questions from this particular paper can be found by looking or clicking on the link which will be over here. Um, that will take you to other questions from this paper. This, que this link will take you to, I guess this is uh, to do with, I'll put the factor theorem. So I'll put it under, um, you know, uh, algebraic expressions. I'll also put it under integration. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.